been around long enough to know, like, okay, there's that decision in the moment. Then there's that the decision when there's an afterthought. It's like, okay, looking back, uh, he killed him. It could be that. Yeah, it could. But it but could go the back. Next, yeah, go the next question I think that you have you're gonna ask is, mm -hmm. are we done? Yeah. Good. Go ahead, Shay. Let me get you. Let me get you right here. Are we done, Shay? Are we done? I don't know. I tell you like this, man. Drake don't look like the type to just lay down and accept. No, he's not. not like us. It's the track that did to me. And I tell you that it's gonna take a lot of humble pride and uh, a settled ego that he don't have right now. But Kendrick we get, Lamar, we that. get heartbreak, Drake too. That's why I was, I was, I'm excited about that. But go ahead. Hey, bro. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, dude, just look like. For some reason, I think his prospect, like, so Kendrick changed the rules of beef to me. That's my theory. Where Kendrick, I think, has some of these tracks already drafted, right? Like, mm -hmm. he changed what the idea of beef is in live time. Drake was more traditionalistic. We're going to go track for track. I'm going to take what you say. I'm going to build on that. I'm going to have a mm -hmm. harder track than you with better information, a deeper approach, flipping everything you did. Hey, I'm thinking we're going track for track. Kendrick had a lineup of, of how he was going to approach this already. So that's what people not getting to. He had a walk up until Not Like Us, which is a yeah. celebratory, mo celebratory moment in a story that he's put together. From day one with Like That, walking all the way back to this song here. I think Kendrick had a story arc, so I can't shit on him for having a sense of strategy that won the beef, right? But at the same time, it's easy to go to a playlist and Oh, let me go to my I hate him playlist. <laughs> <laughs> it's never yeah, good <laughs> and just start dragging well, shit over. Like. Well, I say this, Shay. I don't think it's over, right? Because I yeah. think the the darts, the trading of darts is over. Now we trade grenades. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so now I'm going to make my bomb. I'm going to create an atom bomb that's going to destroy <laughs> you. And yep. now I understand that you're going to create your atom bomb, which is your album mm -hmm. that's coming. That's going to destroy yeah. me. You know I'm yeah. injured. We got some blows. I took some. You no, know, I knocked blood out your yeah. <laughs> too. You knocked it out. You know I'm a little hurt, but it ain't no right. right. So I think the deciding blow comes on that <laughs> album. Like with well, that next release, that release this year, people are gonna re remember what happened now. And what happened next? What you released after this? Because you think about it, what what do we have, Blueprint Two, and was it Steelmatic, right? Mm -hmm. We Steelmatic is the the one that yeah. brought mm -hmm. him to that. You know, people still remember that, right? Yeah. So I think we're gonna remember this, like what you do after this. So Kendrick, you gotta bring it. You gotta bring it. Well, I'll tell you like this, and I'm gonna pass the mic. I think Drake should. If I'm Drake, I let Kendrick run off with the Not Like Us movement right now because I can't do nothing to stop that, right? So let the video come out. Let that do its thing. Mm -hmm. If I'm Drake, I'd pull the Kanye 50 Cent move out my out my pocket. Well, when he drop his album, you get my shit too. You get videos, you get all that. Same Scary thing. hours. Now we get, hmm, album. I say album. Mm -hmm. It ain't. Not full album. At that point. But, well, full album. Well, I can't do it. I'm, this is what I'm McDonald's. I'm Drake. I really have too many. I have to answer too many. I, bro, I'm on contract. I'm a $400 million. I got the LeBron contract. I am LeBron. I can't do this. I have to give you a scary hour. I can't focus all my album, bro. I have to make singles. No, nah, just... Just, it's gonna be a it's gonna be the, it's gonna be a lot of family matters type shit. Drake know how to blend it where it's yeah it's single it's single material where he's having a conversation with you at the same time. That's a new field that he's tapping into. Well, it ain't new. It's a style he's been using, but he's modernized and understanding what approach to use with that. So since Kendrick want to take it there again, see that's been my whole problem with this whole mm -hmm. beat. We started here. We started in the club. Then we went to our backpack. Then we went to the dungeon. Now we being we in back up in the club. So it's like, come on, bro. That's all he was saying the whole time. <laughs> Keep it there. We know why you went number one. So you know what I'm saying? But that's my thing. I would drop the same day. Keep that nigga off the charts. Show everybody why I'm where I'm at. It don't matter why you hate me, but this is why I'm where I'm at. Sanchez, is it over? 
You know what? I ain't gonna say it's over. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an intermission. It Brief is. intermission. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I think Drake. He I think he was a little exhausted from this mm-hmm. shit, uh, and it was affecting the corporate money. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying. Right, right. right. Time, they t- they told her, hey, you know what I'm saying. Y'all need to die this shit down. You know what I'm saying right now. That shit getting to the Nike money. That shit getting to this money, that money, the endorsements. It's fucking with the endorsements, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they yeah. like, hey, that's why, that's why he sounded, I think that's why he sounded so out of it. Exactly. exactly. On the, um, I agree. On the, on the, uh, on the uh, what is it? He's exhausted. Um, the hard part. The exhausted. hardest part. The hard part. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's what it is, but he, he mm-hmm. was a little, he was a little pissed off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't want to end it. But them them higher ups was like, hey man, you this, this fucking with our money. Like, chill out, relax. So I think he gonna come back with vengeance, bro. I think he gonna come back swinging. And I think he gonna come back swinging at every motherfucking body. He got he got something loaded in the chamber for everybody. Watch. I'm telling you. Like, cause he still pissed about, he still pissed about everybody turning their back on him. Which I'm still trying to understand, bro. Like, <laughs> why, bro? Like, it, it right. gotta be it, bro. It gotta be over some pussy, bro. It gotta be, bro. Well, it's it's success, you know. Success breeds envy, and that who's too, more successful at music than this man? That too, and I think I think that goes back also to the Spotify theory that we had too. They like, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying he wanted them, he wanted them big dogs to get a bigger piece of the pie. I looked it up mm-hmm. earlier, bro. It's 11 million artists on Spotify. Yeah. So they got to divide 500 million between 11 million artists. And the right. top three artists get yeah, the biggest piece. Right. You they know get what about saying? Uh, three quarters of it. So they right. need a, a slice so, of cheese to a thousand rack. Yeah. So it's like, man, you know, these, these niggas broke out here. They a little frustrated. And you know what I'm saying? They feel some type of way because they looking right. at it like, man, this nigga ain't he in with all the uh the higher ups and shit. That's you know right though, saying? right? Hey, like us as artists though, mm-hmm. Sanchez. Like what we wouldn't be down with that though, right? We, if we no, no, right, definitely. Right. Like I get it. I get right. why they yeah. angry. You know what I'm saying? That's why. It's that's why. It's it's the game, and and that's where that's where it's a problem. Well, where pe- that's why Kanye them trying to get people to go ahead and become uh independent, and you know what I'm saying. Sell, sell directly. You know what right, I'm saying? Direct to consumer. Yeah, direct but, to consumer. Well, so, Drake's an artist. He should kind of be in favor of the artist. I kind of get now. If that's the reason, we don't know the reason. Some of them, like I don't know what Metro guy. He ain't even an artist. So, but I'm saying, like, Pussy, if that's bro. the reason, if you couldn't do some under the table type stuff, meow. I'm not in support of it. <laughs> I'm, right. So I'm, telling you, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You can sell it under the table, bro. You just gotta look at it like this. You don't think you can do two things at once? You can excel in music and clear out the get the bank account straight too. Yeah, remember when we yeah. said Brian went to LA? Yeah, he filmed yeah. movies and winning championships. What? That's two yeah. mm-hmm. But I think this, and I'm let because you out here no. But I'm saying this, I just think Drake's in the Jay Z position. Like you could go back to Jay and what what Jay Z right after the Nas B. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and when every the whole industry turned on him, and he was just too successful. But look at yeah. what happened to Jay. He kept being yeah. successful. That's right. the same mm-hmm. thing right now with Drake. And yeah. Jackson, what you got to know? What you got? Is it over, bro? It, it ain't over, man. Drake too petty for it to be over. He <laughs> said, yeah. man, I've been saying it from the jump. He petty and he sassy. And he said it in the hard part of six <laughs> that he was petty. So Shit. here go another angle. So I another reason I feel like Drake won, I feel like he made Kendrick come down to his level of pettiness. He did. Mm-hmm. He baited Kendrick into having to be like him. Use that's that funny. and he on the song saying, oh, be ho. Oh, that, that's Drake sound and <laughs> stuff, bro. Right. Really that's true. not you, Kendrick. That's really why that, it, it, it bothers me because everybody think I'm just riding for Drake. I want Kendrick to. Nah, I, don't, I, I know what Kendrick kind of artist you are. You're yeah, more that's of a my Kendrick music. artist than you are a Drake artist, bro. That's I know saying, you did. That's the, your lane is that. So I ain't going to That's my that. lane. I'm more sell out like Drake did than a nun. I'm the fact, a sellout. Nah, just, right. the fact that he right. that Drake got Kendrick 
to come out, drop music consistently, and drop mm-hmm. his type of music. Mm-hmm. Drake win to me. Yeah, way, I, he can I was, win, though. I was no, telling my brother in law, that's the only way he can win. I don't know he can win. Tell, I was telling my brother in law the other day, I said, when, when two people get in the argument, if I bait you and I change your mood and change your energy, I won. Yeah, that's a that's a good that's, that's a good point, man. Mm, man he went point. very cerebral <laughs> on that. Hey, yeah, also, yeah. also, I wanted to right. add this. I'm I'm thinking about hardest part, bro. It sounded like Drake was rolling his eyes when he recorded <laughs> this shit. <year. laughs> yeah, because well, I was thinking, like, I was thinking about the sassy part you just said, yeah. bro. It do sound it's, like he was like, I mean, it's ops. 